welcome to another episode of Andrew Rants, a video series where I stand upon my soapbox pedestal of the world and complain about things that just boil my piss, or at least I usually do. But this time, it's a special video, because I have a request. That's right. Double X, Suzaku X7 Double X has requested a video, or requested a rant of me. And that rant, well... Let me just read what it is. Hey Andrew, could you rant about why people complain about video game female characters when their breasts are bigger than the head? Then some people freak out because it isn't realistic and that really makes me upset because it's all fiction, like cartoons and stuff. I'd like to hear your take on it since we need more large breast female characters that are awesome like the good old days. Well. First off, I don't want to sound sexist, but yeah, I kind of agree. We do need more female characters in video games. And yes, a majority of fighting games, and I'm going to throw those under the bus right off the bat because I played a lot of fighting games. I played Soul Calibur. I played Dragon Ball Z. I played Street Fighter in demo mode at Best Buy. I've played a few dozen games, mostly fighting genre. I do play some RPG and adventure games. Those are my all-time favorite. But I can see their point in this. But a majority of the games that I played did have female characters with slightly larger than you would like to see breast size. And, I mean, I can see why people are freaking out. But then again, people freak out over anything. Oh, look, that person's got a scar on their hand. Well, they must have gotten in some type of a fight. That means they must be some type of a gangster. I'm scared now for my life. Or you have a person that might have a degenerative skin disease or a rash. They instantly think they got leprosy. They want to be away from them because they think they're going to infect them. There is a tremendous amount of hatred in the world when it comes to people and things that cause them to just freak out. Realistically speaking and unrealistically, let's face it, nothing in video games is realistic. If it was, I could jump 30 feet in the air like Mario and I'd have a Pikachu as a pet. Come on, people. Video games are made to entertain us. That's what they are. A form of entertainment. Originally, I kind of believe they were created as a form of mental discipline to at least train people's minds. Remember Tetris? Yeah, make the puzzles, make them all fit together, hand, training your hand-eye coordination. Believe it or not, that's a skill that comes in handy later on in life, especially when you have to stock shelves or if you have to get that food out to the window from the fryer very fast at Arby's. Not that I would know I don't work at an Arby's. But anyway, realistic or not, they're there for a reason. Like I said, it's to entertain. Yes, cartoons do have some of the same stuff, but let's face it, when you hear the word cartoon, the first thing you think of is The Simpsons. And there really aren't that many people with over-endowed chests in The Simpsons. Sure, Marge got a set uh, for episode 295, my one of my favorite episodes, because I'm a fan of Marge Simpson. Get your, hand, get your minds out of the gutter. But... You had some, like, standalone characters for, like, one episode. None that constantly stay permanently throughout the whole series. No continuity in certain characters that stay in one form or shape for the entire series. Then you have other cartoons, like Family Guy. Yes, that's right. Seth MacFarlane's whatever the hell you want to call it. I, I want to call it a show that needs to die because it's gone on a little too long for my taste. American Dad, another McFarlane show. Um, crap, what other ones do we have? Uh, Rick and Morty that just got renewed. So those are what I would clarify as cartoons. Not all cartoons have over-endowed women. But then you have people that go, well, yeah, this is a cartoon, and they're holding up an anime. First off, no. No, 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 no. But I'll tackle that in another rant, trust me. Now... When it comes to this, I do agree. We do need more female characters in video games. Is it bad that they have over-endowed chests? Well, let's face it. 
the video games are, and I want to stress this one more time, FICTION! They're not real! You mean, if you honestly think that Final Fantasy is happening outside your window while you're playing it on your PlayStation, or on your PlayStation 4, or on an emulator you downloaded off of some torrent site, you got mental problems. Step away from your controller and get help immediately. If you're playing Soul Calibur and you think that Cervantes and Nightmare are real and they're going to come knocking on your door for Soul Edge, put down your controller and seek immediate mental help. You goddamn well need it. But I don't see what the problem is. In fighting games, let's face it, the female characters are there to distract players. That's the whole point. It's a fighting game. The creators of it, I guarantee you, thought there's got to be a way to distract people when I'm playing this game. Huh. I know. Make your chest really large. Why? Because when somebody's playing and watching the screen to see how their character's moving, they'll notice that and they'll lose all concentration. That'll give the person that's using that character an advantage. They'll be able to attack them faster and it might win the match. Good idea. In RPGs, it's there because the stories in RPGs drag on for goddamn eternity. Tales of Symphonia. You had, and her name is escaping me, oh god, Sheena, Sheena, thank you, <laughs> I still remember it, Sheena, the ninja, she had a somewhat large chest, taking for the sprites that they had, which were basically N64 stylish, but definitely gotta admit, that was a very good GameCube game, I highly recommend that, by the way, anyway, Tell Symphony was a long as hell game, two discs, and there was so much crap in that that you had to do in the second disc, that you would honestly lose your mind if there wasn't something to keep you entertained. Sure, the story is entertaining as all get out. You will not hear me argue that. But at the same time, that's not the only thing that I'm interested in. Okay, well, the graphics got to be good. You know, no story in the world is going to make up for the fact that if I got to watch a dot move across the screen to tell me where I'm going in an RPG... That is a problem. But anyway, I do think that we need more female characters in video games. Do I think they all need to be large-breasted? Well, yes and no. No, you don't have to have them all sporting flotation devices that could pretty much save them in the middle of a hurricane. But do I think they all need to be surfboards? No. There's a balance in between, and you also have to remember that pixelization can make them seem larger than they actually are. But above all else, I'd like to stress this. It's fiction! 100% fake, people! Come on! But anyway, what are your thoughts? Do you think that people should be freaking out because video game breasts are larger than real life ones and larger than the characters' heads that they're attached to? Or do you think those people just need to step out of their safety boxes and comfort zones, put down their crayons and coloring books and Play-Doh, and join the real world? Well, let me know in the comments below. And until next time, I'm Andrew Rhodes, this has been Andrew Rance, and I'd like to thank you all for listening. Bye!